From the moment I emerged out of Penn Station, I was overwhelmed with the streets teeming with life. Average everyday people were already working or going to work on the streets. There were also people selling produce, food, and convenience items on the streets. Clothing, too. More out-of-seasons items go on sale around this time. These streets billow out steam, while workers drench in sweat in the heat beneath them. But the real struggles, of course, are from those living on the streets. In recent years, homelessness in New York City has reached the highest levels since the Great Depression of the 1930s. I am overwhelmed by the immense difference of what one street looks like versus another just a few blocks down Manhattan. After walking around Grand Central Terminal and admiring the iconic statue and clock, I make my way down 43rd Street at Tudor City. Here, the city noise from the streets are less present, and the small plants fill the space within this little park. I decided to sit and eat my lunch and enjoy the peace around me. Continuing on, I came across the building of the United Nations Headquarters. Right in front of the building across the street, a protest against the bombings in Yemen was taking place. Here, I met many people of diverse race, religions, and culture, all protesting that the U.S. should not be harming Yemen. I met a woman named Margaret, who was well aware of certain injustices that the United States has either taken part in, or stood by and let happen. She simply believes war is not the answer. She told me there was no better place to promote peace than right in front of the building that continues to try and advocate world peace since 1945. Another protester I met was Zhang. He was protesting against a different cause altogether. Zhang's hand was tortured and misshapen after he stood up against the unfair taking of his pension. A lot of Chinese people do not believe in the system of communism anymore, he told me. What I found online about the CCP's doctrines was quite horrifying. But Americans are not, we all have our challenges to face. To rise above or against, or to stand together. I continue walking back from where I came. Today was just a morning in Manhattan. I see men hard at work to build something, while others try to build a future. I see people building, to make this world a place that's built to last.